Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we'll be doing another Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine reading. If you do enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, leave a comment and subscribe. Tell me if anything resonates. Uh, I love you guys do that. Also, thank you so much to everyone who has already become a member. Definitely join if you want the additional channel messages for this reading because this is one you might want them for. It's so exciting, guys. Anyway, so I'm going to say that. And also, thank you so much to everyone who donates to the channel. It's greatly, greatly appreciated. You guys are awesome. And by the way, guys, and if you notice, this is a new card deck that I got. I was so excited about this deck. I just wanted to shout out the person that created this deck. Her account is on Etsy. If you guys want to purchase this deck, I did not get a discount. Like this is just, I paid full price for this deck. I just really like it and I think it's really pretty. But yeah, highly recommend this deck, guys. It's so beautiful. And yeah, the person that sent it was amazing. The box it came in was so pretty. So yeah, definitely check it out if you're interested. I'll put the link in the description box for this deck. Um, yeah, you can find her on Etsy. So anyways, we're going to get into this reading, guys. Super exciting. Okay, basically, okay, in this reading, I'm seeing that there's someone here that feels like in the past, they were not completely open with you about what they wanted. I see someone was not completely honest about the direction that your connection was going. Uh, I see something about being very cold or closed off when it came to conversations about where this connection was going, about where it was headed. If you both saw the same sort of future together, I see someone was nervous or fearful about pursuing something with you in the past. There was something kind of holding them back. But I also get that they weren't being completely honest with themselves because I'm telling you guys, I see this person was into you from the very beginning. They were so ridiculously attracted to you, turned on by you. They never met anyone like you. I'm hearing all of these things. If you want the details for this reading, I highly recommend joining members for this one. There's a lot of stuff coming out, a lot of feelings and emotions. But yeah, this person, I'm hearing something about the moment that you guys locked eyes they never felt the same way again with anyone else i'm hearing there's something about when you guys first locked eyes or you first they saw you in person or something it was like they just something went off in them that they have never experienced before and at the time though i just see them being very oddly closed off to you almost like i see them really affected by other people's opinions. They were very strongly affected by people outside of them that had opinions about your relationship and things to say about you guys and they really listened to these opinions and they cared a lot about their image. I see for some of you again this person kind of had kind of like a player image even if they didn't come across that way to you because I feel like deep down this person isn't a player but they kind of played this role in like maybe a friend group or outside of your connection. I'm also even hearing to be honest guys some of you I see this masculine talking to friends about you being thinking like maybe you're promiscuous or like you go around seeing other guys or like they just thought because of how beautiful they thought you were they assumed that you got a lot of attention from other people like I just see them this was something out of just you know ego and fear they saw you as someone who could pretty much get anyone they felt and they thought maybe you I don't, they were kind of like, or is she like this with everyone? Like, does she flirt with everyone? I don't know, am I not special? I almost feel like someone didn't want to get hurt by you. So instead, they just like kept it cool, kept it cold. Again, I just see this is someone who wanted to basically play this role. Like, yeah, like I'm as cool as you. I can be the man for you. But like, they wanted you to think that they were cool because they felt you were so awesome, <laughs> basically, is how it goes. But in the end, they made it they made it seem like they weren't interested in you. I just keep hearing that. They were like, I'm so sorry if I made it seem like, you know, I was better than you or like I didn't see you in a specific way. Sorry, my cat is attached to the curtain right now. One second. All right, guys. So long story short, I see someone putting their fears and insecurities on you. They had a fear that almost like you were too good for them or you were probably someone who got a lot of guys and they were like, or a lot of girls, whatever. And they just thought that, you know, you were just, they were just another person on your list or you would leave them or you weren't really actually interested in them for the right reasons. Or maybe I'm hearing, yeah, just something like that, guys. So I see they held back or they tried to play cool and they came across really cold sometimes to you. And I also see, guys, if you were ha trying to have like at one point a serious conversation with this person, if you were like laying in bed or you guys were like, I don't know, 
I just see them really looking at your body. They were having a hard time focusing on the actual subject. I see someone wanting to really rush into the physical things. They didn't want to have these deep conversations. I see someone wanting to keep it kind of surface level with you at first. I see that. And I see now, now in the future, this person wants to change that. They feel completely differently now. But in the past, I see them rushing into the physical or it was almost like and they felt like this talking was delaying, you know, something else because I'm telling you guys, based on this reading, this person is so ridiculously turned on by you. I swear they just look at you and it's like, oh my god. <laughs> I'm not kidding, guys. Just just wait for it in this reading. Uh, this person has a hard time holding back from you. They also, again, try to come across very manly, very like um buff, like even if they weren't like that, I just mean as in they tried to come across like just this cool player type of guy. That's just what I see. They tried to play it cool. But meanwhile, they were so into you guys. I feel like they couldn't make their mind up about something or they weren't completely honest about how they were feeling, but they were so into you. I'm telling you, this was all fake. This is, okay, guys, when I did this reading tonight, I asked basically, show me something that we don't know already or that this person thinks we don't know. And this is what came out. So, yeah, essentially, they were trying to play cool from you when they were secretly super into you from the moment they met you. I keep hearing that. It was something about your eyes, something about the connection. They've never felt this before, and they haven't felt it since with another person, okay? And then moving forward here, we have the magician. So this is talking about manifesting something, bringing into reality. I also see, though, with this specific deck right here, I'm getting it as someone looking at you online, looking at you on the internet, social media, looking at your photos. Once again, I'm sorry, guys. This is so clearly coming out. Someone is watching you online. They watch anything that you post, anything, whatever it is. They're stalking your social media accounts. I'm telling you, if you have anything posted, they're looking at it or they're looking at old photos of you. They also are seeing their insecurities, once again, reflected back to them through you. So whatever it is you said to them or did in the past, it really changed the trajectory of their life. It changed how they looked at themselves in the mirror. I'm hearing that song again. I'm starting with the man in the mirror. Sorry, it took me a second to remember that. But I see them also like they're just looking into the future and they're thinking, what is it that I want in my life? And I'm telling you, they see you. Their compass, their everything is leading to you and they cannot get you off their mind. And I keep hearing stuff about they're just imagining it. I'm hearing that song, Just Imagine It. And that song is so ridiculously significant to this reading. I'm also hearing something like so much about dreams. This person feels connected to you in a way they've never felt connected to a person before. They are seeing you in their dreams at night. They're having visions of their future with you in it. They can't get you off their mind. They feel like this is something just totally different. I keep hearing about something like an electrical current through their body. Like they just feel like this is not normal. Like something is special about this connection between the two of you. Like you lit something up in them and also you made them change. Like you made them into, I'm hearing the man they are today or the woman they are today. They've never been this person before you and they changed because of you. I'm hearing never settle right now. I also have keep, I keep hearing the song never say never as well. Like something, someone felt like something was over, but it's not, it is not over. Like this, it's still coming. Like something is still going to happen is what I'm hearing. Like something is, this was not the end. Someone wants you to know like this was not the end. I also keep hearing someone didn't expect you to fully walk away or they didn't expect you to say something or do something that you did and it really shocked them and shook them up and it also wrecked their ego a little bit too. Like if there's something you said, I see it kind of breaking down their ego a little bit. But anyways, guys, we have to get into the more exciting part too. Okay, so first off too, I also see a masculine going shopping he's trying on specific shirts or he's buying a shirt for someone he's like i don't know if this is your size i'm hearing someone picking out which pair of shoes to wear something about the outfits very significant here anyways okay i am seeing that in the future i see you guys at a hotel and i see you're checking in i see like going to the counter getting your bags checked in and getting the key for the room i'm even hearing them tell you where to go in the hotel and I see you going up to some room and you're like, I'm just going to take a little bit to get ready. I don't know if this is in someone's mind or if this happens in the future, guys. I really get it could happen in the future. I am seeing so clearly, I've never had a vision this clear of two people 
basically making love in a hotel room like extremely clear and it's like the type of stuff you see in a movie i'm seeing someone okay like push into the room like, up against the wall like i see this as consensual though the way i'm seeing it guys i'm seeing someone push you up against the wall again this could be someone's dream just not reality yet but because we're talking about manifesting here as well i see you're wearing for some of you for feminine i'm seeing you wearing some kind of dress i'm seeing red heels again if this is not what you're actually wearing this is someone's dream vision of you uh i'm seeing them i was hearing pulling your hair i'm seeing them like run their fingers through your hair or push under your face um they're pushing you up against the wall i see someone's like foot up against the wall and i see them also putting your hands up against the wall as well and grabbing both hands you guys are just making out hardcore against the wall and then you start doing other stuff and then i'm hearing something about on the bed and again i'm hearing someone is trying to hold back because they're so turned on by you and i also see you like potentially delaying this like kind of like talking to this person or like making conversation and i see like in their head the entire time you're talking they're like oh my god oh my god i need to just like sleep <laughs> like he is so turned on by you i'm telling you, you guys are talking he he can't get his mind off of other things like he thinks you look so good i'm hearing like so sex i'm hearing he forgot how sexy you look how beautiful you look uh there's something about the dress a red dress maybe or a blue dress something that you're wearing is just so attractive to him also i'm hearing stuff about nipples guys i'm hearing suck yeah okay i'm hearing a lot of stuff like you don't want to go through all of this probably but uh yeah there's a lot going on i'm hearing something uh, yeah holding mm, tying someone to a bed like different things lots of things there's a okay let's just say you're making love in a hotel room okay really hardcore saw that first and then guys okay it just gets better okay <laughs> so all of my messages guys are starting to make sense now and i'm just like blown away so basically with this card with the magician at first i was also hearing like with this card too getting something about like christmas balls on a christmas tree like ornaments i keep hearing stuff about that and i keep hearing something about something glass and it was making me think of like a snow globe you know when you shake the snow globe I don't know i was seeing a snow globe so clearly in ornaments on a christmas tree i'm telling you you guys are gonna spend christmas together or somehow i'm seeing a fireplace right now i'm seeing marshmallows something about that song roasting marshmallows on an open fire roasting chestnuts on an open fire yeah i definitely see someone spending christmas together i'm seeing like the the lights the city okay i'm seeing new york guys also okay this is so cute sorry my cat just showed up um I'm also seeing, okay, if you are in members, I did a reading today and I mentioned something about the ball drop with this card. I said dropping the ball and I was like thinking it had to do with, you know, the past, which it could, but guys, ball drop, New York. I'm pretty sure it's in New York, right? Times Square is what I was hearing today. And then also I've been nonstop for like, Ever. you guys know hearing midnight something about 12 o'clock and this whole reading i kept hearing something about cinderella losing her slipper and i kept thinking maybe it's because of halloween but then i was like i finally put it all together and i'm like oh my god guys someone is going to propose on new year's in times square and when the ball drops and that's why they have to wait for a specific time that's why it's so important and that's why it's like cinderella the strike of midnight and I also see them getting you like a limousine or something. And I'm seeing when you guys go back to the hotel room, they're gonna have, oh gosh, I'm giving too much away. I should have put like spoiler alert on this video or something. Maybe I'll do that. I don't know. I'm seeing like the room is decorated with like roses, rose petals. And then there's like, I'm hearing champagne glasses. That's why I kept hearing champagne too. Oh my gosh, everything is making sense bubbly. Wow, okay. And then I'm seeing candles lit, like all around the room, I'm seeing candles. And then also I keep, I kept hearing guys, like, um, what was that thing I kept hearing? I was like, give it up for your new blah, blah, blah. Like I keep hearing someone be like, say hello to the new blah, blah, blah. Like an announcer, I'm hearing an announcement. I'm hearing someone on stage be like, give it up for the new couple or the new something. Like they see you propose. And then they're gonna be like, yeah, like, look. And then everyone's gonna start clapping. Guys, I'm seeing this so clearly. It's so beautiful. Oh my God. I'm like, this is amazing. That is what I'm seeing. And that's the whole thing with the crowd. Oh my God. 
I'm seeing a crowd of people and then someone's like, there's too many people watching. That's just like I was hearing in past readings. And I'm seeing something about winter time, right? And then I see it's like cold weather. I kept saying stuff about like a two or a hat. I don't know. I'm hearing honey buns right now. I don't know what that has to do with it. But I'm seeing this so clear. And then I see something about a singer or an artist or someone pulls you up on stage. Like this is a big thing. And then I'm hearing New York Times Magazine. And this could be how you guys get in the spotlight or become famous for something because it happens in a public area and everyone watches. And that could be why it's saying all the eyes are on you, you know? Oh my gosh, guys. This is so amazing. I just like, I can't get over this. And I was hearing something actually about a snow globe as well. What I'm hearing too, guys, is that song, Just Imagine It. And I'm sorry, like you just have to listen to the lyrics to this because I cannot get over how much the lyrics make sense. I'm like blown away by them. Okay, it says in that song, we're all gathered here right now. I can feel it. It's about to go down. <laughs> There's a time and a place for a face in the crowd and today is the day stand out. And I kept hearing, before I even got this song, guys, I kept hearing you stand out in a crowd and I kept hearing locking eyes in a crowd. Okay, and I was hearing, stand up, stand your ground, be the who that you are, be proud. And when you feel that you can't make a sound, right there is the time when you're supposed to get loud. And I keep seeing someone so nervous and I keep seeing them thinking about what other people will think of them. And I'm seeing this as, again, a public thing, a public expression of love. And they're gonna do it, like they're gonna do it. And it just keep hearing, putting myself first. I'm putting myself first. Like they're finally gonna do something they've always wanted to do. They're finally taking action. and. Okay, I heard you don't like those rules, remake them because we live in snow globes. And I heard snow globe before this song. It says shake them. You don't like what it is, then change what it is. Good stories only are what you make them. Wake up, get up and do something. You got to wake up, get up and do something. Yeah, don't take much, but a simple equation, you plus your imagination. And in this reading, guys, the first message I got before I got this message was that someone's been holding back or there's been something holding you back from manifesting what this, what it is you really want in your life and finally being proud, like standing out, being yourself, you know, literally just putting yourself out there and taking the action. And like, I just, I'm seeing something about the fact that you've imagined this, like this is something you are manifesting and it's saying we live in snow globes. If you don't like what you're seeing, shake it, rewrite it. This is literally what I talk about all the time, guys, about law of assumption, law of attraction, if you guys don't know what those are, definitely please research them. Um, like, you are what you think about the most. You are what you focus on. And if you don't like what you're seeing in reality, it's saying that shake it up then. Rewrite the story or take action and do something that you've never done before to make a difference. Because the world isn't going to change itself, you know. So that's what I get from this reading. And someone's really taking that advice and they're running with it is it's amazing i don't know that's what i'm seeing here and i keep seeing also stuff about like those fairy lights like i told you guys and then last night wait not last night yesterday i think it was sometime yesterday in the chat we all just had a talk about new york and times square and we were talking about going there to see the lights or the at christmas time i don't know who i forget everyone that was involved in that conversation like there were a few people i don't want to mention you all but like the fact we had that conversation as well i think is a big message and the fact that new york has come out so many times anyway so i'm seeing all this happen by the way if you guys sleep over at a hotel i'm hearing i don't know why i keep seeing donkey from the movie shrek and i'm hearing in the morning i'm making waffles so maybe you guys go for breakfast somewhere a cafe i'm hearing okay and then I'm always also hearing in that song, it says right here, I can almost touch it so near. We could live in our world, no fear. If you're with me, say yeah, just imagine it. And it says right here, I can see it all crystal clear. And just before this, I was hearing something about crystal clear or clear water. So again, I feel like there is someone holding back on like whatever this is, but they see it so clearly. Like this isn't someone's imagination so clearly. They know this is what they're going to do. They know this is the action they're going to take. Like I'm hearing it's already written in the stars. It's already written out. By the way, I do keep seeing something about laying down under the stars. Like this is going to happen. This is someone's dream and it's becoming a reality. It is started in someone's imagination and they can see it, see it like so clearly. They know this is what's going to happen. And that is why it's going to manifest. Okay. 
I'm also hearing we can flip the whole atmosphere if you just say if if you're with me say yeah just imagine it I live in a world that's in pain you too where the streets have no name because an untreated vet with a mental defect is about to get a Glock that's insane yeah guys do you remember I talked about the person in the army that could have um uh, mental issues mental health issues from a really past really long ago reading yeah so that's coming out again anyways just thought i'd mention that and it also yeah it says something about a gun again i swear there's a lot of negative stuff that have been going that's been going on here but i see this is going to be overcome like i don't even want to mention it in this reading um it also says man we sit on the brink with a drink in a hand and the other with a grip on an iphone and this makes me think of exactly what I've been seeing of the conversation with a friend where he's talking about the messages about you having a drink with them, talking about, you know, what he's going to express to you, how he's going to say it. This is exactly what this is. Like that is, that is what I'm seeing. And it also talks about the fact that, you know, we spend all this time talking about what we're going to do, you know, all this time on an iPhone, dreaming of the life that we want instead of actually going out and getting it or actually spending time manifesting it. We're always focusing on the negative, you know, like instead of what could happen if everything goes right, right? And I'm also hearing never, in that song, sorry, it also says, never looking in each other's eyes, let alone at the stars. One day, wonder where the time goes. Zombies waking up when the ball drops. <laughs> when the ball drops. And I heard this message. Members can attest to this. I heard this message before this reading. And it says that in the song as well. So zombies waking up when the ball drops. And waking up makes me think of also you know, waking up spiritually, as in, if this is something you manifested, I feel like that day, you're going to be like, oh my god, like, dreams really do come true, and I was hearing that song, uh, reach up for the stars, climb every mountain high, and reach up for the stars, and when that rainbow shining over you, that's when your dreams will all come true. And by the way, I keep saying something about rain though too. I don't know what that is. So rainbow, rain, interesting. And um, also it keeps saying climb every mountain high and I can't stop hearing that song. Ain't no mountain high enough. Ain't no valley low enough. Ain't no river wide enough to keep me from getting to you, babe. Remember the day? Yeah, so something about a mountain, if this isn't like right in Times Square, I also see something going on on top of a mountain, guys. Like a proposal on top of a mountain under the stars at night. That is the other thing I'm seeing. So this could be a decision someone's also making because we have the two of wands here between, you know, what exactly they want to do for this. Um, that could be why we're seeing both outcomes right now, or it could be different timelines, but that, that's what I get, guys. Um, all right, and then I'm also, in that song, it says, one day, I wonder where the time goes, too many hearts stop beating when no heart stops. Can't wait for the world to change. It's like waiting for the end of days. You gotta wake up, get up, and do something. You gotta wake up and get up and do something. Yeah, it ain't gonna be perfect, never it has, but we could try, just imagine that. See? It's talking about trying like even if you mess up just try and i feel like that's what someone's gonna do here and also the fact that it says you gotta wake up get up and do something and it repeats it twice guys i also heard before again this song i heard in this reading something about escaping the matrix and once you escape it you never go back and this is in regards to manifesting again as in when you wake up and you learn that you control your reality your thoughts control your reality i feel like that's when your whole life changes and that's what I'm seeing someone's realizing here, like, you know, nothing happens without you making the changes first, like, I don't know, I always try to explain this to people, the whole art of manifesting and how important it is in your life, but, you know, if there's something that you want and you focus on it and you never ever stop holding that idea in your mind, it will become reality, and that is actually one of the channel messages I heard earlier in this reading, um, I heard if you can see it in your mind, you can hold it in your hands, so, Never stop envisioning what it is that you want in your life because one day it will show up. So I don't know, guys, like this message is really deep and I have so many important messages too that I really want to share with you guys. Like those details about the hotel room, details about uh, more of these more deeper messages. So this is definitely one of the ones I would join members for. Again, you can join and just end your membership after a month if you want to. Uh, if you don't want to pay, you know, monthly, that's totally fine. But um, I don't always suggest this, but I just feel like for this reading, if you like these messages, this, I would definitely join. They're very interesting. So, and I really like this reading, so I might pull more on it. I'm not sure guys, let me know if you want 
maybe like a part two of this reading. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But yeah, that's what I'm hearing. When the clock strikes midnight, something about Cinderella. And then I'm also hearing this song, We Found Love in a Hopeless Place as well. As in, I feel like someone felt like this might never happen or you guys might never come back together again, but it just, it did. And I also kept hearing something about the wrong timing. Like someone felt like you guys met at a time when they weren't ready for this or something like that. And then but you were always meant to come back together. And I keep feeling someone, I keep hearing that someone feels like they knew, knew you in another life or something, or that you just have that type of connection where you just recognize someone right when you see them, you know? Even after all the time apart, like you just feel like you were never really apart because, you know, mentally, you guys were still together on the same, on this like some other plane, you know? I keep hearing Shut Up and Drive and songs about driving, like driving down a highway, um, yeah, I'm hearing shut up and drive and something something about a fast car and got a ride that's cooler than a limousine and a zero to 60 and 3.5. Baby, you got the keys. Shut up and drive, drive. Yeah, I see this as like, you're going to go to from zero to 60 as in, in this connection. Like you guys, I see someone wanting to skip boyfriend, girlfriend. Like if that's even there, there, I don't know. Like I just see someone just wants to skip that whole step. They just want to go straight to proposing because they're like, if I want to spend my whole life with this person, I already know that in my mind, like, why would I even waste any more time? I just see someone wanting to just go for it. They don't want to wait anymore. Like I just hear this person knows, they just know that they found their person and uh, it may have taken them some time to really grasp that, but they've always known, even when they first met you, even if they didn't say it. Because it, in this reading, again, it's showing you what you don't know about this person, and that was one of the things, that they weren't completely honest, but they already felt like they found the one when they first met you. So, yeah. I don't know, guys. And uh, by the way, I'm hearing something again about a June wedding, so that could be really important for you guys. And uh, I'm hearing something about headliner, headliner in the news, something about singing again. I don't know. Anyways, uh, I think I'm just going to end it here. I could probably say more, but I think this is a good place to end. Again, if you guys like this reading, uh, please join members for the additional messages. This is one that I want to share with more people. So hopefully we have some new people join. And thank you once again to everyone who has joined members. You guys just your support means so much i don't know why i'm in a really grateful mood today so just thank you guys thank you for everything you've done all the people that support my channel in any way possible yeah just anyway like i'm so appreciative of your comments too they're just very validating and yeah you guys are amazing so thank you i feel like you guys are very deserving of this as well however this is for this is yeah one of the most beautiful readings i've done and plus i got to do with these pretty cards again please check out these cards uh you know if you guys are interested i will definitely put the link in the description box here um they also shuffle really well by the way and they are a good size like they might look bigger but like look at my hand compared to them they're not actually that big they're like a perfect size for someone and i have small hands so yeah anyways guys uh i hope you enjoyed this reading please comment like and subscribe and uh that's pretty much it thank you for everyone who donates i think i already said that and i will see you all in the next video okay